In this video I'm going to install the OpenSSH server on our Ubuntu operating system. And what I've got here is a side-by-side -side, uh, screenshot of two computers, a Windows computer and a Linux computer. To start with I'm going to go ahead and install the OpenSSH on the Ubuntu. And I'm just going to open up the terminal and this will allow us to run this command. The command is quite simple. It's just going to be the sudo apt get install OpenSSH server and we'll have to type the password in for the root user and in a minute here it's going to ask us if we want to install this there it is I'll hit Y for yes and hit enter and so this is going to install the OpenSSH server for us while this is going through just to let you know why we're going to do this is because whenever we transfer files across the web any of the plain text that's being sent can actually easily be read by any kind of web sniffer application and so by doing this we can transfer files or transfer or send commands between computers across the web or across just a local network and the commands or the files cannot be read by any program because they're encrypted so we're going to use SSH uh, for our protocols here now if you look at here the command I want to type in is net stat and then tulpn this is going to allow us to view what ports our computer is currently running at. My computer is running at port 22, which is the well-known port for our SSH. So what we're going to do now is figure out what our IP address is. So I'm going to type in ifconfig. And let's do that again, ifconfig. And ifconfig is a command for Linux that so should give us our IP address. And right now my IP address is 10.0.0.9 you can see here the address for my connection so this is our connection this is our address we're going to go ahead now and go to the Windows machine and actually connect to it now on the Windows machine there's two applications I recommend using the FileZilla client or the WinSCP or the WinSecure copy these two applications are great as a client to connect to a server such as what we just set up I'm going to go ahead and use the FileZilla I've already got this installed on my computer the host is going to be the IP address we just found here, so that's going to be the 10.0.0.9. The username is going to be the username of our user, which is right here, Lecture Snippets. So we'll go ahead and type this in. And then the password is the password for the account. And then the port is going to be port 22, which we just saw earlier with the netstat command. There it is, port 22 that our computer is listening on. So I'm going to go ahead now and hit connect. Uh, you're going to get a warning similar to this. This one tells me I've got a security breach and that's just because I've changed the key and it doesn't recognize this key. You're going to get one saying do you trust this key? Um, a dialog box similar to this. We're going to go ahead and say OK and I'm going to go ahead and hit update to allow us to trust the key and now our computer is connected and that key is needed to transfer the files back and forth securely so you have to accept that key. Over here on this right hand side is the Ubuntu. Over here on the left is my Windows machine. So if you look here, here's the desktop. I'm going to click on the desktop and this is what I see on my desktop here. Come over here to the Ubuntu side and there's my desktop. I'll double click my desktop and that one's currently empty. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the file that I have on my desktop to the Ubuntu desktop. And in a second here you should see that file. There it is, transferred across. So FileZilla is a very easy program to use, just dragging and dropping. You just have to understand that on the left-hand side is our client, on the right-hand side is our server. And there is my file. Uh, so this is the conclusion of the video. I've set up the open server, open SSH server, and have a client connect to the